We turn now to the coronavirus crisis in India, where nearly half of all cases and a quarter of the deaths around the world were reported last week, according to the World Health Organization. CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay reports from New Delhi. Good morning. India's stratospheric death toll shows no signs of slowing. New Delhi announced this morning it's extending its lockdown at police checkpoints like these for another week as cases creep throughout the country and even across India's borders. The river Ganges is revered as a goddess, cleansing sins and ushering the dead to paradise. But in recent months, it was a gateway to India's pandemic inferno. Millions of Hindus gathered on its banks at the festival of Kumbh Mela, thought to be the biggest super spreader event ever. Due to religious gatherings, political rallies, and letting down its guard, India is now surpassing 400,000 daily infections for four days in a row, says Princeton epidemiologist Ramanan Laxmanarayan. There's still a huge underestimate of where they are, uh, and every death is, is just a tragedy because these were all avertable deaths for the most part. The virus now shows terrifying signs of catching fire in rural areas, where 75 percent of Indians live with abysmal health care. Hidden cameras show a hospital in the holy city of Varanasi. Relatives, not doctors, look after the sick, mixed among patients with other ailments. If my wife had gotten the right medicines and treatment, she might have survived, but she didn't get it here, says Pankaj Maria. They really need to restrict the movement and the gatherings in those places. But so far, the government has ruled out a nationwide lockdown, despite deaths on pace to reach one million by August. India is one of the world's biggest producers of vaccines, but only about 3% of Indians have been vaccinated, prompting the government to ban exports and causing a crisis in Africa. Kenya says it will run out of vaccines within days as the continent braces for a second wave, hopefully not as ferocious as India's. And cases are also beginning to spike in neighboring countries like Pakistan and Nepal. Now, here in New Delhi, a leading epidemiologist tells me that the mere local lockdown is too little, too late. Chris Livesay reporting from India.